what's good youtube it's your boy musa back with another video today is a monday um we're about to do a weigh-in see where we're at and get on with our days covering like 8 8 20 so slept pretty well slept around seven and a bit hours which is way better than i used to um and if i want to lose the amount of weight that i need to lose within the next three three months sleep has to be in check like i haven't spoken much about sleep but we'll be speaking about that a little bit today and how important it actually is to weight loss and just overall good health in general sleep goes very underrated i don't respect sleep the way i know i should <laughs> but i've been trying to respect it as much as i can these last couple of weeks and it has made a huge huge difference to the process so far just in a week and like a few days let's get on the scale see where we're at I don't know if you guys saw that but it said 103.5 so we are heading in the right direction i already told you guys weight loss is going to be extremely extremely harder now first couple of weeks once my weight was regulating itself then actually losing a lot of water weight now it's actually time for the whole body fat situation to be losing so i'm about to get dressed go for a morning walk which is something i'm going to start doing now i'm going to do it twice a day so i'm going to go for one walk in the morning and one walk in the evening that way it's extra calories being burnt somewhere around 500 to a thousand calories within um that bracket uh, i know it's a bit drastic but between anywhere from 500 it's still calories being burnt um and i'm gonna start tracking macros yes you heard me i'm gonna start tracking macros now i'm gonna actually try and put all my meals in i like to do this i think i should from uh who do i see it from chris jones um basically putting in all your calories and everything first thing in the morning instead of doing it as you're eating um it just makes life easier um, you know what i mean and i was like simple but it makes sense like if you kind of already know what you're going to eat today track it and then that way when it comes to the whole making process it's pretty easy like ready to know i've got to do three eggs i've got to do this how many grams of this this many grams of that and then boom you hit your macros without just guessing and just going with it you know throughout the day um i don't know does that make does that make sense hopefully that makes sense of course there's right over there so that's why i go for a walk literally every day and that whole forest there and it's all that all that sky like that, that line that you see there that's all the, that's the whole forest it's pretty huge actually literally that's all the forest <laughs> i can stay in my house for a month no easy that's 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 easy work that's light work for musa being in the house for a month but it's also nice to go out get fresh air and just take your mind off what your work is do you know what i mean like saying so, yeah that's that's the thing let me go make my tea first though you know you gotta have the tea in the morning you gotta have tea in the morning if you ain't got your tea in the morning there's something wrong with you let's go make that tea or coffee or whatever just make sure you have something warm to enter the stomach you know what i'm saying cool so here we're coming up just walking around uh, in the forest again of course as always you know how it is um trying to go for around six to ten thousand steps in this first round then go home do a little home workout and then get a little work done and then eventually break my fast same more routine like i was just thinking just now i was like you know what during this corona time or just lockdown time it's probably the best time to pick up like discipline you know because you're so on autopilot in a way where you're just repeating every day you're just doing the same thing same thing same thing so if you picked up something just something something that you enjoy or something and actually you started implementing in your day today you can ultimately make it a discipline because it stopped becoming repetitive you know like right now days days are blurry i ain't gonna lie to you for a lot of people and it's not just me like i was speaking to my brother yesterday i was like to him i ain't heard from you in a while and he's like whoa shit. i was like yeah, i get it though because you know everything's on repeat you wake up you do your thing you watch tv or whatever blah 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 sleep wake up do the same thing repeat you know so right now it's probably a great time to pick up a habit then turn it into a discipline ultimately um yeah i was just, I was just thinking i was saying it's probably the easiest time right because you ain't really got any distractions you ain't got friends saying oh let's go out this weekend or let's go clubbing or let's go eat at a restaurant or you know all that stuff everything's closed so now it's just like what do i do <laughs> so just the thought um let me know if you guys have picked up any hobbies or things like that during the lockdown um i would like to know but yeah i'm just gonna carry on walking and i'll see you guys back at home
So your boy's about to vacuum this mill, you know, got the eggs and that. Look at that, goodness, oh yeah. Mm. Vacuum time. Three, two, one, time lapse. Boom! So right now I am sipping on this zero calorie Faxi Kondi. Uh, if you guys know about this, then you know it is an energy drink which I don't recommend. But this definitely helps with like sugar cravings and stuff like that, which I don't really get. I haven't got them yet. I don't normally get sugar cravings when I'm on keto. Like it's crazy. When I'm on keto, I don't miss sugar one bit. When I'm off it, I go crazy. Like no control, <laughs> it's just out the window. Also, I'm gonna be making a snack later on, which is also something that I, I like to make that controls my sugar cravings. Even though the rest of my family and my, my woman, she thinks that it tastes disgusting and she's just like, Ooh, what is this? But for me, it tastes sweet, it's very satiating and I like it. <laughs> okay, I like it. Uh, well, I'll show you guys later on. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna be sipping on water the drink um and then i'll go and get the work out going um like i said i said i'm gonna be as transparent as i can on this channel and show you guys everything that i do in this journey so yes i do like to have a little energy drink every now and then it's not the greatest thing in the world it might ruin your health and you might die and no i'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. but yeah let me carry on i'm just gonna carry on editing and stuff for the next 30 40 minutes and then we're gonna use all the energy the food and that we got in our system to go conquer this awesome workout yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's scissors. <laughs> Mrs. Got <laughs> it's a good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful day. Why? Look down. Just to look, look down. A package doll. Packages and that. We're gonna start off with. I don't. Do not. Do I need? Thirty kg. It feels so heavy. But this is like good for like home squats and that because the most we have is 12 which is that ball but yeah i'm about to buy one more yeah it's a gorilla yeah i'm about to buy one more 100 percent. start with one no i'm about to buy one more like today Jeez. And this one's got the 8 and the 15 kg Nice. And the only reason why I went there is because on the thing it was kind of confusing. It said 15 times 2, or was it 2 times 15, and then the price. So I was like, does that mean I'm getting 2? Or? And no, I was 15, like, 15. No. That's what I'm saying. It was a bit confusing. So I was like, let me just buy one just to make sure. In case I bought two and I got two sets of each, that would have been a whole nother thing. So. I'm kind of glad it came like this instead. So we've got 115. Come closer. 15, 30, 8. So you can do a lot of things with this, you know, dumbbells. Dumbbells, you can do a full on workout with dumbbells. I'm excited about that. Um, I also got this. I said, I forgot. Oh, it's a couple. Yeah. One, two, eight. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this can take up this whole living room area. You have a scissors and you're using the why can't I use my hands? This is just... Right now with the whole lockdown, guys, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not playing with I'm tired. Every time I'm like, ah, let me just wait it out. It's gonna open up again. However, in the UK, I did have my own home gym. I think I no, said that in previous it's videos. It is. French. No, that's, that's not funny. She thinks she got jokes. But yeah. Oh, that's soft. Set up like that. So now people can start jumping jacks. You, can you explain where you're even going to put all this? I'm going to put it probably around that section there because that's going. That is yeah, going? that's pretty much going. That yeah, is going. going. The light's going, everything's going. Light, I'm yeah. Making, I'm making it. this whole section into like a mini gym. 
um, for the that already of the is gym stuff. Yeah, but I'm gonna buy more. Like now. No, don't hoard. Right now you have the essentials. No, I need more dumbbells. I'm gonna get a bench press. Mostly. If you go joking, look at look at me. This look wait, 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 look at me. Does this face look like he's joking? I'm serious. I'm about to I'm I'm, I'm about to tear up this What? Keep going up in this mob. <laughs> So like, there's a little extra stuff. What is that? Bands? For you. Bands? I miss a thought about my babes. I was like, she can't carry no dumbbells. Excuse me, did I ask you to help me get in shape? I was like, my babes can't handle no dumbbells. She, she, she ain't fit like that. I'm not even fit to use those too. <laughs> so, hey. got some resistant bands. Yeah. My little brother's gonna love this when he when he comes when he wakes up. Right now he's sleeping because he's got training in a bit. But yep, resistant bands, awesome. But he's only got two handles, so you have to change them. That's alright though. That's not much of a hassle. Um, but yeah, this is this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Cheese! What are you not saying? Happy, happy Musa. You're trying to say happy husband. That doesn't rhyme. I said happy Musa. I mean happy, happy husband, happy life, right? Is that what you say? So I just finished my workout. Now I'm here in the balcony. About to get some fresh air. Um, good man, cardio session. Now I'm doing a little bit of weight training because there's no way I'm getting fresh weights and not using them. So I'm just going to mess around with those. If you'd like to see a home workout with the weights, let me know. Um, I'm probably going to wait until I get the other two because I ordered another two pair of weights. <laughs> so hopefully they come uh, and then I will show you guys some home workouts if you are interested. But yeah, now it's time for me to go finish off this workout, shower up and then make our second to last meal. Whew. I'm finished. Wow. Whew. Here we are. Final meal of the day. Look at that bad boy. Oh, yes. I know you likes that. Thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, we got three chicken thighs um, seasoned with olive oil. Because right now, that's the main oils I'm using. Olive oil, coconut oil, and ghee. Um, for the okra, I just boiled okra. Um, I love okra. It's probably my favorite veg. And I mixed it up with some ghee to give it that fat. Um, I've got some cabbage on here with some onions which I grilled with the chicken. See this is the key, if you can cook, you can make everything fun. So learn how to cook if you can't cook, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm serious, learn how to cook if you can't cook. Um, but yeah, this is meal number two and right now it's like quarter to seven. Yeah, quarter to seven, I'm gonna end my fast around eight ish so I'm gonna have my last meal which is the snack which I'll show you guys um, when we get there but first, it's time to Vacuum is vacuum time, and yeah, time lapse in three, two, one. Well, that was scrum deliumptious, feel full. It's gonna hold me for the next, it can hold me literally until tomorrow, but I'm, I need to have my last meal in order to hit my fats for today. Um, I have put in all my calories and I've actually gone over by 400 calories. In total, um, I ended up at 2,630, which is what I'm, I'm right now, I've put my finger calories at 2,200, which is extremely low. Then again, I'm on a tight deadline in a way, um, but I don't mind going over 400 calories also because I'm actually doing exercising. You know, now I've got dumbbells, I did a bit of weight training, so I'm adding a little resistance now, and also doing the two walks a day, which I'm going to do later. I'm going to walk after. Um, so that extra 400 calories is not really, I'm still in the deficit regardless. Um, it's just that that, two, that 2,200 is an extreme deficit i wanted to mention some things about the way i'm eating so you guys have noticed a lot of the stuff like this morning eggs boiled 
I could easily fry them and just smother them in oil, but that's not the keto way. I know a lot of people think that keto is just eggs and bacon and whatnot fried and just oil. No, it's not. Most of your food is obviously going to come from fats, so you need to have like meats that have high fat, chicken thighs, skin in the morning, that marguez, but it's all that is organic marguez. It's not the one that you just get from the shops and it's got a hidden carbs and all the e numbers and whatnot this is one that's made in the butchers with actual meat they made it themselves so it's, it's different um, high in fat good fats um, obviously the egg yolk all that stuff boiled um, the okra boiled I could have easily just fried it up or something no I, I like mixed it with ghee um, chicken grilled could have fried it up you know deep fried that no that's not the way um but also with the oils and stuff that i've put in today like i've used olive oil i've used ghee um that's pretty much what i used today i haven't used coconut oil today no actually when i was making the marguez i put a little bit of coconut oil in there about 10 grams um but I remember a lot of it does stay on the pan which is something that a lot of people don't put into account so even because fats fats is very high calorie so if i'm putting 10 grams in the pan for the marguez at least five six grams of that i'm gonna throw away because it's not gonna stay with the meat so i'm not one of those guys to like oh 10 grams and then once i take it off i'm like i'm gonna minus five nope just leave it as it is um if anything you're just gonna be in a better deficit in a way you're still in a, you're gonna be in a deficit you know what i mean um especially if you're trying to lose body fat the way i am it don't really matter just normally as well i wouldn't count veggies but at this time around i'm like why not let's just count veggies um but yeah my final meal is where most of my fats come from so that way i can stay that's why i can stay fasted like 20 hours because that last meal that i have makes me i feel amazing it's got the sweetness the sourness the fatness <laughs> once i eat that i'm good for, for 16 plus hours i'm good so with this whole keto thing, because I've done it so many times now, I know how to mess around with it, have fun with it, um, and make it exciting. For me, it's not boring. I, I'm not afraid of the kitchen. There's some people that are afraid of the kitchen. Me, I'm not afraid of going in the kitchen and cooking. Like, I love cooking. I've been cooking since 12. Man's 27. I've been cooking for some time now. You know what I'm saying? You know, 12. My mom was like, get in this kitchen. You love food way too much. See you guys. <laughs> when I eat the final meal, I'm talking a bit too much, but I'm just trying to again be as transparent as i can and give you guys all the information um time to get to work and i'll catch you guys later for the final meal ah, i can taste it already <laughs> boom so here we are final meal this is the dessert i was telling you guys about look at it it's just it's, it's look just just look at it it's like a big bowl of ice cream <laughs> it's amazing but yeah what we got in here we got some creme fish 38 percent fat um strawberries raspberries all the berries because that's what you can mainly eat on keto when it comes to fruit berries um because they're really high in fiber low in carbs um we also have some a lot of nuts we have some brazilian nuts and some pecans in here like i said this is like my highest fat meal uh, this is not every day i don't do this every single day but today is the day that you guys caught me on um my meals do change you know from like my main meal it could be chicken it could be steak it could be fish i alternate between the three so steak chicken fish and then i go again steak chicken fish like that and then on sundays i'm like mm, what do i want to feel like eating today it's almost like a cheat meal but it's not a cheat meal um i don't feel like i need cheat meals right now but yeah that's pretty much all it is i put some seeds in here as well some chia seeds extra fat uh but yeah this this is just a bowl of fun like literally um i did save some calories by the way um around 400 calories because I'm not hungry after that meal that I had. I'm not extremely hungry, so there's no need for me to just eat, just to eat, you know? Like, oh, I put in 100 grams of crumb fish. It went down to 85, because I was like, mm, that's enough, I don't need more. So, yeah, that's the thing about keto. You're not always hungry. <laughs> you get full, because you're eating so much fat, you know? You're, you're always satiated. But yeah, let me yam down on this one. I'm really gonna enjoy this. Mm. Good night. Mm. Oh, my. Oh. Mm. Too sweet. Oh my. Hey, I'm not recording myself eating this because I've been making a hell of faces. <laughs> We're going to end the video here. It's been a solid day. I will go for my walk later on right now. It's around 8.20. So today's fast has been around 
today's eating time window it's been around seven eight hours which is okay it doesn't always have to be four hours six hours like i said i alternate man i make this shit flexible i make it fit me i'm not like oh it's four hours it has to be four hours every day no man ain't got time for that i'm just trying to live life live good look good feel healthy that's it you know what i'm saying man ain't on all this strictness thing there. it's got to be disciplined of course eating right but at the same time it's like i can be flexible i am my own boss you know what i'm saying <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did smash the thumbs up if you want to know if you want to see me actually do the recipes and everything in full for a video like my favorite snack let me show you guys the full ingredients in that if that's something you're interested let me know in the comment section and i shall get these videos done for you guys uh, thank you for watching like subscribe all that goodness and i'll catch you guys in the next one love life love life love life peace